On this video, I'm gonna give you my picture settings for this TV right here. This is the TCL QM7. This is a US model 65 inch Google TV. Now I will tell you that calibration settings that I'm gonna give you may not work on your television, but you can always try them because it doesn't hurt anything because you can always reset your TV back to the default picture settings. When calibrating the TV, it is what it is. Each TV should be calibrated separately, but if you don't wanna go out and spend the money, that's why I'm gonna give you these picture settings that you can try out. Instead of guessing, I want to use the Calman Ultimate software, but I had to manually set this TV up because it doesn't support automatic calibration. And I want to show you the accuracy of the picture in movie mode, and it's not spot on, but it still has a great picture. And here's what it looks like in PC mode. Again, it's not that accurate as you can see right here. After the calibration, it appears that a lot of the points are a little bit more spot on. I'm not gonna say that it's perfect cause no TV is, but it looks much better on paper than it did before. Now the reason I used PC is so I can show you the difference in the picture quality so you can see the differences. But again, don't use these settings in the PC setting. This is for demo purposes. You wanna select the movie mode. And the reason you wanna do this is because if you go down to advanced settings, you're gonna have access to all the different features that the movie mode has like blur reduction and you have access to all your motion features. So if I go back over here to the PC mode that I use for the calibration, you can see right here when I go to advanced settings, you don't have any of those controls. So definitely don't use this, but use the settings I'm about to give you. So now I'm gonna give you the calibration settings that I use that I got from the Calman software. Well, first thing you wanna do is you can choose the brightness, but I calibrated at 71 and color saturations at 50. If you go over here to advanced settings, under brightness, I have it at 71. Contrast at 100, black levels at 50, and gamma, I have it 2.2. We go to the colors, we have it at 50% saturation. I did turn off the blue light, and I do have the color temperature at warm. Now, I didn't change any of the motion rate settings, but it's at standard. Under expert calibrations, go into your white balance and press on two point. Set your red gains at negative 26, the green gain at zero, the blue gain at negative 19, the red offset at negative two, the green offset at zero, the blue offset at negative one. And far as 20 point, I didn't go in here and change anything, so you can leave that off. So after I calibrate the TV, I did notice a few things. First of all, when I did my review, I noticed that on the all white screen, the TV had this red tint to it. Let me show you the differences between the calibrated and the non-calibrated. So here's the movie mode, and as you can see, it's very saturated, and it really has a good look to it, and you might be happy with this. Now, if we switch over to the PC mode where I did the calibration at, you can see it pulled out all those red tones on it, so it looks a little bit more flat and a little bit cooler to me. So you can decide if you wanna use these settings or go with what TCL put out, but I think you're gonna be happy with either one, but if you like that more flatline look, you'll definitely like these calibration settings. And here's another example for you. And I do notice that the movie mode has more saturation overall, but this is more of a flatter look to it. So again, calibration settings is subjective. So it's something that you can decide if you wanna try out, you might just like it, but it's completely up to you. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below because I'm looking to make more calibration videos since most part I focus on TVs and other gadgets. I wanna make sure that I give you the best experience here on this channel. And if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Our goal is to hit 200,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Tech Steve and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.